Addie's Cup of Sugar, based on a Buddhist story of healing, a Stillwater Tale by John J. Muth. Addie and her pet kitten were best friends. They did everything together. When he was very young, his meow sounded like the rooting of a tiny brass horn. Addie named him Trumpet. They woke up together every day. Trumpet sat on the covers and wouldn't move until Addie got out of bed. When Trumpet was with her, the world was brighter and warmer. But one day, shortly after they moved into their new ha neighborhood, it happened. Trumpet was hit by a car. Addie was very sad. Trumpet couldn't be gone. This couldn't really be happening. There must be something she could do. Then Addie remembered her friend Stillwater. He knew a lot about how to help people. He would know how to bring Trumpet back again. Addie ran to find him. Stillwater, Stillwater, Addie cried out. You have to help Trumpet make Trumpet alive again. Please make him come back. Oh, Addie, Stillwater said softly. I am so sorry. Perhaps we can find the medicine you need, but first you will need all the right ingredients. You must go around the neighborhood and find someone to give you a cup of sugar. Stillwater handed Addie an empty cup. Fill this cup with sugar and bring it to me so we can mix it into the right medicine. But the most important thing of all said the sugar must be from a house where death is a stranger. Addie hurried outside. She ran as fast as she could to the nearest house. Emma, who was visiting her grandmother, answered the door. Do you have a cup of sugar I could have? asked Addie. Yes, I'm sure we do, Emma said. Oh, good, said Addie. Stillwater needs it for a special medicine. Then Addie remembered. Does anybody in your family know someone who has died? My grandpa died last year, said Emma. Oh, said Addie, unsure of what to say next. I'm sorry about your grandpa, but the sugar for my medicine must be from a home where no one has, where no one has died. I'm sorry to bother you, she said. Addie ran through the backyards and beneath the laundry that hung on clotheslines. The linen sheets that brushed against her skin felt like Trumpet's rough tongue. She never knew what a cat's tongue felt like until she met Trumpet. Addie went to another house and knocked. She was surprised when her school librarian answered the door. Please, said Addie, I'm helping my friend Stillwater make a special medicine. I need to find a cup of sugar, but it must be from a home where no one has died. I'm sorry, said the librarian quietly. Last week, our dear old dog, Gracie, died in her sleep. I wish I could be of more help. Oh, said Addie, as quiet as the librarian. That's okay, thank you. I'm sorry about your grace. Addie ran from neighbor to neighbor looking for a cup of sugar from a home where death was a stranger, but she couldn't find a single one. Each person had, at one time or another, lost someone who was dear to them. Knowing she had to hurry, Addie scampered across the yard through some bushes between the trees. A rabbit watched her run past, the pupils in his eyes growing so very large. It was like when Trumpet would sit very still and watch and wait, and then he would pounce. Ouch! Addie's pants leg caught on a sticker bush. A sharp thorn broke the skin on her knee. She sat down and unhooked the thorn. I'm sorry, Trumpet, Addie said. I am trying to help you as quickly as I can. Addie thought about all the people she had met today. When she looked at their faces, she knew how each of them has felt, had felt, and while she was still very sad, she did not feel quite so alone. She thought of Trumpet, of how he chased dragonflies in the yard, how she would find him curled up asleep in the funniest places, how his little pink toes felt so soft, how he would purr and rub his chin against her cheek while she lay in the grass looking at the clouds. Now she felt the tears come. The light was chasing the end of the day. After a long moment searching the sky, Addie stood and began to run. Stillwater was waiting for her on the perch on the porch. I have no sugar, Stillwater, Addie said. Everyone I met today has lost someone they love. But I understand now, she said. The medicine was for me, wasn't it? Stillwater smiled a beautiful, sad smile. Still uh, how will I ever stop being sad about trumpet? asked Addie. Stillwater held Addie close. You may always be sad about him, said Stillwater. Only time can make the hurt less. And why you can't see him the way you once did, he has not really gone away. He is in your heart, and he always will be.